All right, we're back here in the vials 1300 1310 uh, laboratories at Ohio University. Today we're looking at the lung lobule. So lung lobule is like a small chunk of a lung. So with the lung lobule, we got a lot going on, but let's start superior and work our way down inferior. So first off, this is a bronchus. And bronchus is singular. Bronchi would be plural. Now as the bronchus comes down, it branches multiple times into bronchioles, smaller divisions of the lung. What you want to notice though, is that the bronchi has this blue cartilage surrounding it. But the bronchioles don't have nearly as much of the blue cartilage. They have these salmon colored rings, salmon colored rings, which is smooth muscle. So we know bronchoconstriction and bronchodilation occurs in the bronchioles, not so much the bronchi, because this is cartilage, it holds its shape more. But let's keep working our way down. As we work down, eventually we get to an alveolar sac. Now one alveoli is like one of these bubbles. And I actually love hot chocolate, those little miniature marshmallows. So I think each alveoli is a one miniature marshmallow. But if you take 30, 40, 50 miniature marshmallows together, that's an alveolar sac. And you can see there's one here, two, three, and four. Now, we also have some blood vessels. So the blood vessels are tricky because this, this is actually the pulmonary vein. Vein traveling back towards the heart, but it's red and it's oxygenated because it's just picked up oxygen from the lungs. So it's the one vein in the body that's oxygenated headed back to the heart. Now this purple one, sometimes seen as blue, is the pulmonary artery. It's traveling from the heart to the lungs, it's deoxygenated, and it's gonna pick up the oxygen at the lungs as it breaks down into arterioles, capillaries, venules, and then up into the vein. And that's your lung lobule demo.